Uh, this is a quick video to show you how, you how to get connected to the SpeedTech programmable unit. So the first thing you want to do, go into our website. It might make you log in. Uh, but once you're logged in, the seven digit part number, you can just click in the search box and it's a 1121431. And click on the device. And then you want to go into the downloads tab at the top and software. If you haven't already downloaded Sopus, Sopus is the is the free software that we have for these devices. So go ahead and download that and install it. And the next thing you're going to need is the SDD file. So the SDD file is what you need to be able to configure the device on SOPUS. So download the SDD and extract it as well. Once you have it installed and, and open, you want to go to device catalog and then click the gear. Um, install, click next. From disk, click next. And then you can browse to your downloads folder or wherever you extracted that SDD file um, and click through to install it. So once you have the SDD file installed, go back to the device search tab. At the bottom right, click search settings and interface oriented search. And even though you're connected USB, you want to connect to serial. This is actually a serial connection. I'm not sure which one um, I'm connected to, so I'm just going to click both of them. And the baud rate is 115200. Click next and finish. And now it should find your find the speed tech and automatically add it to the project file. So once it does and it's loaded, you can double click anywhere in the box to open the configuration tab. Um, you, most of what you need, well, pretty much all you'll need is the speed value, but most of, uh, what you need for setup, it's really helpful for setup is this retro reflection, loss speed value and signal to noise ratio. Um, you can click on the eye or hover over the eye and it'll tell you what those are and what that value should be for best performance. It doesn't have to be, you know, this says, I think less, something less than 1% doesn't have to be, but for best performance, it kind of, um, it, it's, I guess, beneficial. And then you probably want to come in here and yeah, make sure the digital trigger is off because you're not you're not using the trigger. You can change resolution if you want to, um, and I think it needs to be multiples of four. Yeah, multiples of four micron can be selected. You can change the movement direction from forward to reverse. And do some different things. Um, feel free to, to play with these. Yeah, you're not gonna you're not gonna break anything. Um, just wanted to give you a, a quick video on how to how to get set up pretty easily. So hope this helps.